सो हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज जॉय योर इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू सी इज द लिंक स्टेट राउटिंग राउटिंग हैज टू टाइप्स द स्टेटिक राउटिंग एंड द डायनेमिक राउटिंग एंड डायनेमिक राउटिंग इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टाइप्स विच इज इंटीरियर गेट वे राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल एंड द एक्सटीरियर गेट वे राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल एंड द इंटीरियर गेट वे राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल is further divided into two types which is the distance vector routing and the link state routing in the previous lecture we have discussed the distance vector routing protocol in today's session we are going to see the link state routing so let us begin in the link state routing all the routers will exchange message which with each other so that they can learn the entire network topology after that they will create the shortest part tree using the dystras algorithm so in the network each and every router will create their own shortest part tree and to create the shortest part tree they will use the dystras algorithm so let's see how it works as you can see on the screen there is a network in which there are five routers which are a b c d and e the distance between each routers can be seen near their edges for example the distance between a to b is 5 the distance between a to c is 2 a to d is 3 then c to b is 4 c to e is 4 and b to e is 3 now to create the shortest part tree each and every router will follow the dystras algorithm and the flow chart that you can see on the screen is the flow chart for dystras algorithm so each and every router will use the dystras algorithm and they will create the shortest part tree right now we are only interested for the device a so right now we will create the shortest part tree for router a only all the routers in the network are divided into two categories the tentative list and permanent list so in the dystras algorithm in the first step we will move the root node into the tentative list now what is the root node the root node is the first node in the shortest part tree so right now we want to find the shortest part tree with respect to router a so the root node is the device a so in the first step in dystras algorithm we will move the root node into tentative list the value in the bracket shows the distance from device a so the distance from itself is zero so a0 is written in the tentative list after that we will move every node from the tentative list to the permanent list and which node will be moved the node which is having the shortest distance so right now we have only one node so we will move one node to the permanent list now when we move the shortest distance node to the permanent list we will add its adjacent node to tentative list so what are the adjacent of the router a the adjacent of the router a are b c and d so we will move this adjacent of the recently moved node to the tentative list so the first adjacent node d will be added to tentative list now you can see d3 so what is the meaning of the value in the bracket the value in the bracket will always tell you the distance from the root node so the distance from the root node is 3 so d3 is added to tentative list the next adjacent node is b and we will add b to tentative list 
now what will be the value in the bracket b5 because distance from a to b is 5 so b5 is added and the last adjacent node which is c it will be added into tentative list so the first step is completed after that the same procedure will be followed again we will move the node from tentative list to permanent list but which node will be moved the node which is having the shortest distance so let us write the all the nodes as it is and from the all nodes the node c is having the shortest distance so we will move the c2 into the permanent list so after we move any node from the tentative list to permanent list we will add its adjacent node to tentative list so what are the adjacent of the c adjacent of the c are a b and e now you have to remember that we will not add every adjacent node to tentative list we will only move unprocessed nodes to tentative list so which nodes are called as unprocessed nodes unprocessed nodes are those which are not present in the permanent list so as you can see that c is having three nodes a b and e we have just moved c from the tentative list to permanent list so we will add b and e to tentative list we will not add a to tentative list because a is processed neighbor and a is already there in the permanent list so let's add adjacent node of c to the tentative list so we will add its both adjacent node which are b and e and the value will be 6 e6 and b6 now why the value of these nodes are 6 right now we are reaching the routers b and e via c so the distance from c to b is 4 and distance from c to e is 4 but we are considering the distance from root node so if you consider distance from root node so a to c and c to e will be e6 and a to c and c to b will be b6 right after again we will follow the same procedure now one more thing that you need to consider is that when you find the same node with different distances we will only consider the node which is having the shortest distance you can see that we have b5 and b6 so the node is same but the distance is different so we will consider only b5 and we will eliminate b6 now after that again we will move the uh, node from the tentative list to permanent list which node we will move the node which is having the shortest distance so d3 is having shortest distance so we will add the node d to the permanent list now after adding the node to permanent list we will add their adjacent nodes to tentative list but which adjacent nodes will be added unprocessed adjacent nodes now d is having any unprocessed adjacent nodes no d is having only one node which is a and a is process a is already present in the permanent list so we will not move the a again in the tentative list okay after that we have two values b5 and e6 in tentative list so we will move the shortest distance node from tentative list to permanent list so which node will be added b5 will be added so b we will move b5 from the tentative list to the permanent list now after moving uh, node from tentative list to permanent list you know that we will add unprocessed adjacent nodes so b is having actually three nodes which are a c and e what are unprocessed nodes unprocessed nodes are nodes which are not present 
in the permanent list so a and c are already present so we will not add again those nodes into the tentative list only one unprocessed neighbor the router b has which is e so we will add e to the tentative list so you can see that e8 is added after that we are having two values for e you know that whenever we find the two values for the same node we will consider the shortest distance so after that we will move the e6 to the permanent list from the tentative list and as you can see that the task is complete and we have to stop when there is no entries are left to move from tentative list to permanent list so as you can see all the entries in the permanent list shows the shortest part tree from the root node a and the distance which you are having in the bracket are the shortest path distance so from the shortest path distance you can create the shortest path tree from the root node a so let's create the shortest path tree this is our shortest path tree and from this shortest path tree router a will generate its routing table so this is how the Dijkstra's algorithm is used remember we have find the shortest path tree with respect to root node a in the network all the routers will create their own shortest path tree and after creating the shortest path tree using the Dijkstra's algorithm they will prepare the routing table so your task is to find the shortest path tree with respect to the remaining nodes and this is it for the Dijkstra's algorithm as well as today's session if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much